Hello YouTube fans out today, how are you guys today? Well, I got a disclaimer for you guys today. This, uh, I am not a certified electrician. By the way, this is highly dangerous. You can shock yourself, you can hurt yourself by doing this type of project. This project I'm going to be making for you guys today is for entertainment purposes. By the way, this is a demo switch with a outlet uh, sepulchre. I have a 1000 watt demo, 15 amp uh, outlet, and also I have a GFI for my protection in case if I do mess something up, but I hope not. I don't think I would, but this is just for my protection and stuff. By the way, this is a good type of circuit system here. And you're building any type of outlets, demos, and uh, stuff like that, I recommend uh, make one of these too uh, for your safety and stuff like that. Uh, let's go with some of the parts you're going to probably need here. Uh, I got myself a extension cord here. It's a stranded uh, four, uh, 14 gauge uh, extension cord here. I have two boxes here or tie together by using a one and a half inch uh, nut uh, joining these two boxes together. And I also have the wire tie to tie the wire down. And on the inside I also have uh, the grinding screws as well. I have the ground screw here and the ground screw there. And also with the one grinding wire. And these are actually considered outside boxes. And I have all of the little plastic uh, things, uh, seals though, to keep water out. But uh, this is not going to be for outside. This is going to be for mostly indoors to dim my lights, my lamps, or whatever I want to plug into uh, this outlet demo switch combo. And this is a 15 amp outlet I'm going to be using for a single circuit only. I'd recommend getting a single circuit outlet if you're going to be doing only one circuit. Uh, I have this uh, low knob uh, demo switch here. It's a pretty uh, a thousand watt demo. It's pretty uh, okay demo here. And again I got my plates, cover plates, I got all my stranded cable, and by the way, this is one thing I did with my stranded cable, is I'm going to try something different, I'm going to be using some crimp on connectors here, see if they're going to work, I uh, typically would normally wire this up with wire nuts, I'm only going to be using one wire nut for this whole project, it's going to be just for the ground only, and I have that on this guy here. Can I put the crimp on connects on these as well? Try them out. See what they're gonna do. I did the same thing with the uh, extension cord wire. And right now we're gonna go ahead and move the GFI off to the side. Because we're not going to need that just yet. The tool you're going just to need is just a single screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, by the way, to put all this together. Now what we're going to do. So we're going to take the cord, the 14 gauge extension cord. I'm just using a white 14 gauge extension cord here. And we're going to go ahead and put it through the uh, little cramp wire nut thing that holds the wires on. And by the way, I made the neutral cable a little bit shorter for the Allen uh, cable to fit. Uh, the reason why I'm building this is just to test it out and see what it will work on a demo. Um, I don't know about motors, you know, fans, stuff like that, joyals. I'm just building this for, I'm just building, building this for a experiment. So experiments are okay to do, but again, I recommend trying to do this with some safety in mind, guys, because this can be quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, now we got the extension cord cable in the bottom. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip it over for you can actually screw the screws down on the on the bottom of the crimp tool or the bottom of this connector wheel. And by the way, uh, safety is very important guys. If you're going to be building projects like this, I recommend just trying to be you know, very safe with the projects and all the different types of projects out there with electrical, uh, with electrical work by the way, because electrical can be quite dangerous. Uh, I know I've been doing electrical for many years guys. I've been doing this when I was younger. And I'm familiar with the important things to get all. And sometimes I have my, uh, sometimes I have some things that uh, fail. Some things that die on me, but you know what? And that's just part of life. You know, just try to get out of thing. To get all and stuff like that. And we don't need to cinch these that tight. Because we don't want to pinch the wire too bad on the extension cord and smash the uh, uh, cord hill and I left this uh, for a reason kind of like this kind of like loose and stuff and kind of stuff like that it's pretty cool what I'm going to do because my neutral side is on the on side of the box I'm going to go ahead and put the neutral side of the cable on that side because I want the outlet to face down and I'm also going to be using electrical tape just to tape out a thing but we're not going to do that today uh, electrical tape is just one of those own safety uh, and vices to use as well but we're not going to use that today guys I typically normally do but hey you know what that's what we can do Let's go ahead and wire up this uh, outlet here. Alright. We're going to take the outlet. Um, you can wrap the strand of wire around the screw. Or you can use these lovely uh, push connect uh, connectors here. And you can just screw them down with those too. And they work pretty good. I really like using the crimp connectors guys. Because they are a pretty good idea to use. And by the way I'm wiring this all up. There we go. Let's go ahead and also put that ground. Another important safety thing is that ground. You need that to be able to have a three grounded outlet to work properly. Because if you don't, then you're going to have a problem with something not going on. Now again, that's a little longer uh, wire here. But sometimes you can cut the wire into whatever size you want the wire to be in. Now, by demonstrating you guys on a demo switch, uh, the way a demo switch normally works is you normally don't use the outlet, normally you just use the demo switch. But this is just this experiment I'm doing. Here's my wired up outlet. Well, we got one more the return line to actually put on the outlet itself. Go ahead and turn this and get it underneath that screw to help to hold it down. Oh, and this is kind of like a fun little project here. By making this demo and by making all sorts of own things guys, it's just it's very simple, very easy to make, but again, that's just very easily to be confused by which car, which wire is the right wire to go to, and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick all these uh, wires to the little box like this, and stick the ground to the little two because again, an important safety thing to have is the ground. Uh, you're, able to, you're able to want the ground and stuff and just wiring up the plug. Getting the plug all wired up nice and neat. Um, again, you want to make sure your wires look nice on the inside of the box. I don't want to smush them too bad. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get the little screw. It goes to the outlet. And by the way, making all this is uh, can be quite can be quite uh, fun, but it also can be it also can still be dangerous, guys. If you kind of don't know what you're doing. Try to figure out, get, uh, go to your local library, get a couple of electrical books and stuff like that. And the electrical books will help you to actual, to <coughs> tell you which wires or what. Uh, you got your green as for ground, earth ground. You got your black as a hot, uh, like a jalapeno. Uh, and you got your neutral as your town line. Is your is your um like uh, it's I would tell you timeline is um like cold like ice I guess you wanna call it that way guys. Uh, let's go ahead and move the blocks out the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my green and uh, green Grounds here, and we're going to tie all of these grounds together on the switch itself. I'm going to go ahead and grab the switch ground as well. A non important thing to have on when making any type of projects. So just make sure you have that ground because you want that ground to be there for your protection, guys. That's all one safety thing I do care about is just to make sure you have that earth ground there, guys. It's really important to have a good grounding system on your any of your projects you're building or any type of project. It only depends on when you need that type of certain ground. Now I hope this wire nut fits. If not, I have ons. But I think it's kind of might fit, may not. It's a little tight, and I think it's going to go on there, guys. Got that ground on there nice and neat. And I go to pull test just to make sure it's not going to come off. I don't think it will, but it's going to twist that ground wire nut on now. And the way I uh, have this all hooked up is which one is going to be my power inline? The power inline is going to be this one. Uh, this one right here is the power inline. That uh, goes down, and the online is the one that goes directly to the plug itself. Now, there we go. Let's go ahead and throw all these cables inside the box. Just making sure they look nice and neat inside of them. If not, I can always straighten them out at a later date. And we have the other two uh, screws that come with the uh, demo itself to screw into the box itself. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I really do like making projects, guys, and I do like working with electrical. But again, just gotta note what you're doing now, guys. You know, it's just a simple mistake. Uh, you can really hurt yourself with doing this type of project and you don't understand the way electrical works. Again, we're not going to fully tighten that all the way down. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure we're not going to pinch any wires. When you type of wires, make sure you don't pinch any gun wires. Make sure you don't, you know, punch any type of circuit wires inside the box and stuff like that as well because we want to make sure we stay clear of each wire we put inside the box inside the junction box now to note on why I do this it's just 
I do it all the time. I'm familiar on the way the cuddle codes are on the electrical codes and the way a thing works. Anything made out of metal, guys, has to be grounded, properly grounded, and everything else. The last thing will be they put these cover plates on just to kind of give it a, a little snazzy look. And let's go ahead and tie this guy down here. And I understand this is not the right cover for this uh, outdoor cover box, but that's okay. I can always get a different one later on if I need to. And there you go, guys. This is how I kind of made it and built it, and and I now I have myself a demo switch to dim lights and such and stuff like that. And that's how you make your demo switch and stuff, now guys. But we're not done yet. Uh, we gotta test the circuit just to make sure it's going to work right. Again, GFI. And we're going to go ahead and test my GFI to see if it's going to have the proper grounding and everything does. And we'll go ahead and move that out there. And put this over here. And we're going to go ahead and take my lamp I have built a long time ago. And we'll go ahead and plug in the demo switch up. Now, turn on the circuit. See if she dims up. And there you go, guys. You have yourself a working demo. Uh, you see it turns off. Turns on. Nicely, we have everything properly grounded on the demo switch. We'll go ahead and check that as well. Again, we're using my testle. And put the testle in the outlet. And there you go. We have a perfectly safe grounded unit. And you can adjust the temperature and all and stuff on it and make sure you're not going to overkill your stuff here but there you go guys a working perfect demo switch outlet combo already wired up and already ready for use guys but alright guys if you want to know on where I got all these bolts most of all these bolts I got from Lowe's uh, you can get them down at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart <coughs> Any place that sells electrical kind of stuff. But again, note one thing. Electrical is very dangerous. It's uh, highly dangerous. You can shock yourself. You can uh, hurt yourself. Or you can accidentally catch on on fire. Again, the safety thing. Have a good set of GFI as well. I use this GFI as a protector circuit. When I am building this type of circuitry and stuff like that, guys. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, leave a comment below, and also please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you next vlog, YouTubers. Later.